In the present video, I will be explaining what are the quartiles. And the quartiles are three numerical measures that divide, divide the order data in four equal parts. So we have the first quartile, or quartile one, that is exactly one that have the property that 25% of the data are below, or at most 25% at below this quartile, and at most 75% will be above this quartile. So the quartile one is the same thing of the percentile 25. The quartile two is exactly in the center of the data set. So it will be, will be symbolized Q2 or Q sub two, but it's the same of the percentile 50 or the median yeah, that is exactly in the center of the data. And finally, we have the quartile three or the third quartile that it will symbolize like Q sub three and is the same of the percentile 75. So we have the whole data set in this line. The one that is here will be Q1, and we have 25% of the data at this side. At the other side of the data, the data that are uh, uh, bigger than Q1 are 75%, or at, at most 75% of the data will be more than Q1. So this Q1 is actually the percentile 25. So there is, if you order the data from the lowest one to the highest value, the quartile one will be the same of the percentile 25. Of course, here in the, mid, in the middle, in the center of the data set, we have the median. So this is the quartile two. So the quartile two will be the same of the percentile 50, or the median, yeah? And finally, we have the third quartile, or quartile three. So the quartile three will be the percentile 75. So the 75% of the data set is below the quartile three, or at the most 75% of, of the data set is below the quartile three. And obviously, at most 25% is is the set of data that is, is above the Q3. So to compute these quartiles, we don't have a new way. So it will be computing the quartile is the same thing of, of computing the percentile. So we just, we need to know what percentile, in which percentile we are looking for. So for example, if we have this set of data, and I'm assuming there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 here. So 14 times 3, there are 42 data, data in this data set. So if we have this data set, they are, this data set is already ordered from the lowest one to the, to the highest one. So if we have this and we want to compute the quartile 2, what we are going to do is compute the percentile 50 or the median is the same. Eh? Remember the, 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 first, the first step is to order the data, but the data is already ordered here. Now the second step is to find the position or index. So this will be the position of percentile 50, the position of the median. And remember is, in this case will be 50 over 100. That is the same of one half or 0 0.5 of you want. Eh? So N is the total number of data. Yeah? Here k is 50, but if you, you can write 50 over 100, you're thinking in percentile. But you can type 1 over 2, that's you're thinking in the median. Yeah? So, so i equals 0 0.50 times 42. This is n equal the number of, of data. So we have 21 data. So 0 0.50 times 42 equals 21. So because this is a whole number, remember, if we get a whole number here, we need to get a the data in the position 21. This is the this is the data in the position 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So if we get this is the data in the position 21, but remember if we get a whole number, that's in this case 21, we just get the data in position 21 plus the following data and get the average. But in this case, both are 46, so the average will be 46. So we have, because the, 
the, the index was 21, so the percentile 50 or the quartile 2 is the average between the two that are, that are 40, 21 and 22. Yes, then this is 46 plus 46 divided by 2, so equal 46. So that is the, the quartile number 2. Let's compute now another example. We have the following data set. We want to compute Q3. So the first step is to order, order the data, but they are already ordered. So now the second step will be find the index of, or position. So this will be, because this is Q3, Q3 has the 75% of the data below it. So we need to compute the percentile 75. So for finding the index, we use the formula of the percentile 75 over 100. Obviously, you can 75 over 100 is actually the same if you if you simplify is the same of three over over four yeah? uh, uh, three over four and if you are thinking in quartiles you can think and this is quartile three you can also write here three over four yeah? this is another way to say this but the, there is no necessity to to see this in another way this is actually the percentile seventy five so here will be zero point seventy five so. I equal 0 0.75 times 29. There are 29 data in the data set. So k over 100, because k in this k will be 75, 75 over 100 is the same of 0 0.75 times the number of data, 29. So just make this multiplication and I get 21.75. In this case, I'm happy. I found a number with decimal. When I know this, when I get this, the, the thing that I need to do is you round up the number. So round up, and this will be the index, the position of the percentile. So 21.75 rounding up this number is 22. So the data number 22 will be the data that is the percentile 75 or the Q3. So data number 22. There are 10 data here, plus 10 data here, 20, 21, 22. So this data will be the percentile. Look at this data, 28.2. This is the percentile 75. This is Q3. Let's see. So let's type this. So because we need to round up the, the index, this is 22, and the, the, the percentile 75 is the same of Q3, then Q3 will be the data number in the position 22. The data in the position 22 is 28.2. Yeah, so it will be 28.2. This is the percentile 75, or this is the quartile 3. Let's see another example. And this example is with this data set, and we want to compute Q1. Let's see how many data we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There are 28 data in the data set. And they are already ordered, so we are going to find the position immediately. So the position will be 25 over 100 times 28. Yeah? Because this is the percentile 25 if the same of the quartile 1. So 25 over 100, obviously this is the same of 1, 4, or 0 0.25 times 28 equals 7. So the data number 7 is the percentile 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, not the data number 7, because in this case we get a whole number. So we'll be, if we get the whole number, we get the average between data number 7 and data number 8. The data and the following data. Is, is, that's in the case when the index is a whole number. So because we get uh, because we get the whole number, we get the average between the data number seven and data number A. But they coincidentally they are the same. They are 34 in this example. So 34 plus 34 equal divided by two equal 34. So this is the explanation of how to compute the quartile using this 
way. This is an approximation of the quartiles that is different for other approximations that are used in, in, in other software. Yeah? So, but uh, this is a, this gives you a good a good estimation of the percentile twenty five or the percentile seventy five, etc. So they give you a good approximation of the quartiles. So th that concludes my explanation of the quartiles. See you in another video. Thank you.